so hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel i'm so happy to be back here thank you for all my subscribers i'm so grateful and if you're here you are new please make sure you give me a thumbs up and you subscribe support me guys so leo nimekujana story ya venye nilikoniwa aki wa i'm sweating niki kunywa kofi i sweat i sweat but anyway forgive me for that so nilikotuni meketi and i was thinking okay where have i come from nimetoka mbali nimetoka mbali wase wa in this story i just remembered of how i was gone last year 2020 by a guy from uk wa hadi watu wa uk hadi watu wa maju wanakon kenyans in the way broke we are hey god anyway that is not the story so mimi katika harakati zangu pale social media i like i like instagram i love tiktok like any like all platforms i remember even kuna time i was criticized by some two people and they were saying kila leo nakuanga social media hata kuna accounts mbili za whatsapp na facebook hata mbili za instagram live alone any other platform mbili instagram and i was like that is me and uh, i can do nothing about that cuz that is me and i i just appreciate myself for loving myself so much so mimi katika harakati pale instagram nikapata na certain guy this guy from the uk texted me first and uh, i remember we got along very well tulisikizana yani ile mpaka unaona okay yeah yeah this is it this is gonna be he yeah? little did i know what is gonna happen so every day we used to talk ilikuwa march 2020 yeah march 2020 that is when we started talking around up march feb i'm not so wrong huh. to get along to get along ika fika point like we we were trusting each other now by this time we were talking and have shared a lot of things and yeah ika fika hii point this guy told me i want to send you some gifts from uk to your place from uk to kenya that made me really so happy i don't know how to express it but i was so happy tell me a corona umutumwa gifts kutoka uk and uh, it is your first time to interact with uh, a guy from abroad who is not even your relative or whoever just a random guy na mume get along vizuri eh hey, home stay my hata ungekata hey i'm sure hata wewe haungekata so this guy here is he and he says that nitakutumia and by sasa the following week utakuwa umezipata cuz i'm gonna send them in the course of this week we wacha anitumie picha za zile vitu alikuwa anataka kunitumia he sent me a laptop he sent me an iphone I, I, was it an iphone or just a random phone uh, just a random smartphone handbags zinafanana na viatu uh jewels sdrini uh, designer sprays uh, wow mimi kuona hivyo was like oh i have to get this i have to get this kwanza hizi ngoma venye zinafa tu size size yangu actually kwanza alikuwa ameniuliza size yangu na vanga trouser size gani skirts says gani kivya tu says gani so nilikuwa nishamwambia as we were talking before and he told me okay i'm going to send the photos you see if you like them if you like them then i'm going to send the gifts to you mimi ni nani hmm the kenyan the kikuyu i am ndani nikamwambia it's okay i love them and uh, now that you 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 bought them according to my size it is very okay and i uh, appreciate So the following day actually not the following day like after two days to miongea amenitumia picha akanitumia another photo akiwa kwa parceling kwa hiyo place ya kuparcel vitu stuff stuff hivyo so alikuwa ame ashazi seal kwa box amefunga vizuri ameka hadi sijui ni masel tape such a way now you can't open and actually there was money guys I thought, oh my god i forgot kulikuwa na pesa hapo ndani he he kulikuwa na pesa in the in the box alikuwa shanitumia pia venye amezipack kwa kabahasha and now in the box and wrapped the box with cell tapes venye una wrapping kitu ndo isifunguliwe na anyone along the way or such stuff 
Hmm. Akanitumia hadi picha ya picha yake but now picha yake akiwa kwa parceling. But now picha yake mimi sikuona sura. Akisikuja sio kwa fikiria aje by the way. Sometimes you si kwa nina reason. But anyway, akanitumia picha yake akiwa na hiyo box akiwa kwa parceling office. But now picha hakunitumia sura. Alituma back view. So me ananionyesha back view na box hapo that is in the parceling office sending the baggage to me. Wow. Oh my god. What on mutaenda hell. <laughs> you will go to hell you guys, you will go to hell. So I can to me and so I was convinced that now oh my god he's sending these things and wow. He's such a good guy. Yeah? Kidogo kidogo. Uh akani, the following day akanitumia certain code. So e code ilikuwa sijui ya ku identify my my muziko when it comes to Kenya or I don't know what the hell I was supposed to do with that code but niliambiwa when you are called by the custom sijui custom or whatever from or if you call from the custom office you will give them this code nikamwambia it's okay we mimi nikaamini story yote because now the the process uh, the process is okay it's uh besides i'm not spending anything so the process is just okay with me ha huh, the following day tena i was called by a certain woman akaniambia hey this is gladys nikamwambia yeah it's gladys you have a parcel from uh, uk england na inafai kuja kenya na ishafika actually ilifika on a monday morning and uh, kuna code yote alikutumia mwenye alikutumia parcel unatumia hiyo code nikamwambia ya yeah, alinitumia code so send me the code nikamfuadia the code ula madhi akaniambia it's okay you get your parcel in uh, two days or so because it has to go some uh, i don't know it accuses g nini nikamwambia it is very okay i am patient <laughs> after kumwambia hivyo kidogo kidogo she called me later akaniambia hiyo parcel imeandikwa by then i was in kirinyaga hiyo time ya corona that around march i think march to to june yeah march to june hapo i was in kirinyaga and so akaniambia hiyo parcel is supposed to come to uh, wapi kirinyaga but now imeandikwa nairobi if you wanted to come to kirugoya kirinyaga it is still okay tunaweza deliver mpaka huko nikamwambia actually ilikuwa imeandikwa nairobi but if it, it, it is okay unaweza leta hapa we hapa ndo nilianza sasa ku realize kuna shida cuz later pia the same same day she called me and told me that okay ipo sale yako unafaa ulipie 4200 and that is the tax duty una fully paid Kenyan shillings and I'm like okay mwenye alituma si angelipia kwani i'm supposed to pay for gifts can you no you just have to pay for it it's a custom duty it is paid once iziko hapa Kenya in Kenyan shillings we mimi ndio nilikuwa naona the process is more than it looks like okay mhm it's a good thing nikambiwa nilipe 4200 and i accepted to pay 4200 the problem comes in si kwa na hiyo 4200 I didn't have that 4200 to pay. My guys, sikuwa nayo. So what I did, nilikopa. Na sikukopa mtu mmoja cuz si watu walikuwa wamesota by the time ya corona and like hakuna mtu alikuwa na do like do ya kupeana. Mimi nilikopa the 4200 from I think I just said I don't know what I don't know kama ni the woman ni nini. So mimi I just copied. Hey, forgive my English. Nilikopanga kwa bishti zangu kaza huyo 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 ni rushe kenyo kona hivyo but si kuambia ni ya ni ya nini hmm. ikafika 4200 nikatumia ule mathi alikuwa anaitwa Martha who sijui kama niko na hizo hizo screenshots bado I'll check alikuwa anaitwa Martha something Martha Martha sikumbuki Martha na kwa jina okay I'll check it for you so Martha nikamtumia ile 4200 na kanitumia reset after going to marry said imeandikwa jina ya mtu mwingine si jina yangu what imeandikwa anga tabitha nani ama itabitha shit i was like oh my god what just happened to my 4200 ya kukapa don't forget ta hmm. i had to marry said but then i told her okay i reset 
sijui my mistake ama ni nini this is not my name akaniambia it is very simple i just toa receipt yenye kwa na jina yako hiyo ina shida akanitolea receipt kwa na jina yangu okay now i was at, i was at peace i was like okay finally at least receipt inaonyesha ni jina yangu just in case i have to sue so when the way broke i was borrowing 4200 Anyway, forget about that. But now after kunitumia hiyo receipt, akaniambia, "Ai, mzigo yako imeandikwa inakuja Eldoret." Eldoret. Na tushaongea about mzigo, akaniambia imeandikwa Nairobi, but then anyway, I want it to come to Kirinyaga it come. Ananiambia sasa imeandikwa Eldoret. Sasa hapa nikajua my 4200 ya kukopa, it is gone. It was a scam. By now ni nilikuwa nishaanza ku sense this is scam now cause wa a a mnanifanisha ufala by the way. Nikamwambia ah Kenya utadu why just change the location just iandike uko kwenye nafaka ku come. Na at this point I was like ah whatever goes ni sasa venye kutaenda tu kuende kama venye nitakama. Kidogo kidogo the same same day kale alikuwa anashinda na Nicole but no the following uh, time I was called by the same number but whoever talked to was a man i don't remember the name but nakumbuka he was a man i'll call later akaniambia you were called before i told that your parcel is here nini nini but now whereas it was checked by the machines zikifika pale inaonyesha box yenye ulitumiwa kuna pesa na hiyo pesa imepita kiwango yenye pesa unafaa ku as in yenye inafaa ku come through in kenya as a parcel i don't know there were how many euros haiwezi kubalishwa kupita hapa kwa sababu hiyo that's a rule in Kenya and it's broken so what you need to do unafaa kuwa na certificate called money laundering certificate what hiyo hata nilikuwa ninajua hata ni nini yani we hey sasa money laundering ukuwa nayo ndio hii pesa yako ikubalishwe kupita kumbuka ni shali 4200 za kukopa don't forget Now he's telling me to pay another 5000 to get the, the certificate. Na na nipatie options ananiambia it's either you get the certificate yourself from the the, the authority the officers zenye zinafaa sijui hata ni gani zenye zinafaa kupeana the certificate or you send the money to us as the customer company. Sijui ni wa ni sijui ni waeni kuende. We we'll just do it for you. So you choose Hey guys. Scam is real. Mimi nikamwambia, "He, sasa I'll know what to do. Call me later, I'll know what to do." But by saa hii najua there's nothing I can do. Nisha realize ni scam and I can't pay. Mimi siwezi kukopa dhao zingine tano after kukopa nne. Ati ndio nilipe mzigo hata si hata wacha ni vango zenye ni mzuri. Wacha ni zoe kwenda nini? Give combined the hell. But I'm not gonna Kopa another 5000 for this shit. Haya, nika text to Ryan. All this time by the way, I was telling him the process in yote inaenda. I've been called, nimeambiwa hivi na hivi, nimeambiwa nilipe 42, but ni 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 hivyo. But hata sikumwambia nimekopa. We, sikumwambia nimekopa. So mimi venye niliambiwa nilipe hizo 5k zingine, nikamtext nikamwambia he wananiambia mzigo imefika but now after paying the tax duty they are telling me to pay for a laundering certificate kuniendaje akaniambia you whatever they ask you just to pay because they are give gifts unless you don't want the gifts why why is can even you remember nikamwambia but i don't have money so at this point ndo nilimwambia at ile 4200 ya kulipa custom duty I borrowed from my friends. I have to repay them. Sasa nimetishwa zingine 5k. Where do you think I'll get the money? Pay for me. Unilipe hiyo nini? Hiyo the other 5000. If I totally want me to have those gifts. Wait, akaniambia me I don't have money. I I packed my euros in your box. Na sasa wewe ndo zitakufikia. I don't have any other money. Nikashangaa mtu anakutumia hizo gifts zote mpaka iPhone na akiwa bila pesa. Kwanza 1500 ndio watu wanakosa. So mimi nikaamua na nikaamua kabisa I am not going to pay for this shit hapana. Ha, na yeye pia akaniambia hanilipi. He ha, ati nilipe tu then I get the money there. Mimi na mimi na mambo zangu nikamwambia si basi 
unilipie then when the money gets to me i refund you nichukua hizo euros i will do what i exchange them ama sijui whatever i will do me at a school but i will refund you when that money that you sent gets to me where akaona paniko gumu no he started that i can ignore nikim text at her reply ah mimi niko na hii ni ujinga sitaendelea na hii shit so when that guy called again nikamwambia okay do you know what because he called me and told me now that you're not paying for this mzigo yako i come we're gonna keep it in the store now joy it is being charged to be in the store so the more days is in a car the more charges is in ongezeka okay kuja kulipa utapata zimeaccumulate niliwambia mimi just stay with the mzigo sitaki ila siku ndasikia ati sina niko na pesa ya kulipia kitu kama hiyo ama niko na pesa ya ku waste nitakuja nilipe nichukue mzigo hata kama itakuwa after 5 years you don't worry about it just throw it there kaini nayo akasema no but you know what take ka huko the government will take the the mzigo and give it to other people nikamwambia take it give it to people i don't want i don't want cuz nilikuwa najua sasa kupata kitu na struggle ati nianze sasa eh nisaidie hata unisaidie 500 hivyo mpaka zifike 5k just because i'm na fota vitu zile hata sijui what the hell is it? Hey, zimetoka wapi so i decided let me just leave it so guys beware of scam by now by now kila mtu anajua everything to do with online what is legit and what is not so just be careful just be careful that is what i would say so mimi i learned the lesson the hard way and now story ado mimi he sijui naweza ni convince her gender unicorn cuz mimi i believe in paying on for what i see. make sure you give me a thumbs up subscribe hit the subscribe button and make sure you support me for more content so see you later See you in my next video and I love you all.